I am so glad you're joining us today for a reading from the Jesus Storybook Bible. Remember, this book helps us see the stories in the Bible and remember Jesus and what he did for us in each story. So, get your book if you have it, get ready to follow along and read along with the story, and then at the end of the story, there'll be a fun activity that you can do with your family. The Friend of Little Children Jesus' friends were arguing. Who was the most important helper in God's kingdom, they wanted to know. I am, James said. No, you're not, said Peter. I am. Nonsense, Matthew said. I am the cleverest. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Yes, no, I am. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> this silliness went on and on like that for some time. You see, Jesus' friends had started thinking they had to do something to make themselves special to Jesus, that if they were the cleverest or the nicest or something, Jesus would like them best. But they had forgotten something, something God had been teaching his people all through the years, that no matter how clever you are, or how good you are, or how rich you are, or how nice you are, or how important you are, none of it makes any difference. Because God's love is a gift. And as anyone will tell you, the whole thing about a gift is it's free. All you have to do is reach out your hands and take it. So while Jesus' friends were arguing, some people who knew all about getting gifts, in fact, you might say they were gift experts, had come to see Jesus. Who were they? <laughs> they were little children. Jesus' helpers tried to send them away. Uh, Jesus doesn't have time for you, they said. He's too tired. But they were wrong. Jesus always had time for children. Don't ever send them away, Jesus said. Bring the little ones to me. Now, if you had been there, what do you think? Would you have had to line up quietly to see Jesus? Do you think Jesus would have asked you how good you'd been before he'd give you a hug? Would you have had to be on your best behaviour and get dressed up and not speak until you're spoken to? Or... Would you have done just what these children did? Run straight up to Jesus and let him pick you up in his arms and swing you and kiss you and hug you and then sit you on his lap and listen to your stories and your chats. You see, children loved Jesus and they knew they didn't need to do anything special for Jesus to love them. All they needed to do was to run into his arms and so that's just what they did. Well, after all the laughing and games, Jesus turned to his helpers and said, No matter how big you grow, never grow up so much that you lose your child's heart, full of trust in God. Be like these children. They are the most important in my kingdom. I hope you enjoyed today's story. I want to remind you that God's love is a free gift. All you have to do is reach out your hands and take it. The other thing to remember is that we don't have to do anything special for Jesus to love us. Today, we are going to do an activity to share his love with others. So get out your construction paper, or you can get out your regular paper, whatever you have at home, and you get some markers, or you can get crayons, or you can get some colored pencils or pens, whatever you have to make a pretty picture or make a card and make it for someone you love. It could be your neighbor, it could be a family member, it could be someone far away, and make the picture and make sure you sign it with love and then put your name on it. If it's someone nearby, ask your family to help you take it to them. You can take it to their door and surprise them. You can mail it to someone who's far away. But either way, just make it a great picture so you can share his love with others. John 14, 15. 
If you love me, you will keep my commandments.